Hey, welcome back everyone to another edition of Live from Lavender Town. Thanks, Joanna. Uh, Joanna is, is with me. She's I'm in the room. She's having a food baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's nursing a food baby, so she wanted to lay down for this one. But she really wanted me to keep going. And mm, I need a disclaimer here. There are a lot of these episodes where Joanna is like, I can't. <laughs> and and I'm like, oh, well, let's, we'll do it another time. And she goes, no, 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 no. I want you to open the packs. I really want to do an opening. I just can't be sitting upright. Yeah. And that's all right. You know what? We're 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 a very tolerant community here, so we believe in letting folks nurse food babies, upset tummies, <laughs> all all sorts of you know reasons. And uh, right now, I really want to get into these darkness ablaze packs. Um, I I see the evolving skies. I know y'all see the evolving skies. I promise you, there will be plenty of evolving skies opened. Plenty of evolving skies, but right now we're gonna open up 35 more packs for the seven days 35 packs birthday celebration challenge, uh, and we're gonna be doing 35 packs of Darkness Ablaze. Um, and so what we got three trade locked, and then 103 not trade locked. And I really want to make an Eternatus deck. I d somehow have not. This is I'm playing catch up here, so a lot of this is like brand new for the channel. But we got to do it. We got to do it for the culture, you know, for sure. Do it for the crew. Mm-hmm. And Pinkerton and oh, for sure. Oh. <laughs> I thought for sure that was gonna be. That was gonna be it, you know? Alright, so we're three three packs in on this one. This is the last trade lock. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate that I got this really awesome new. Ooh, Ooh you got rose! Get that rose! Look at that stunner! Rainbow rare! Rose. Wow. Wowie dowie. And like I was about to say, this is a perfect example. A lot of people see this and go, oh, but it's trade locked. I can't trade it. I don't... Why would why would you feel like you... you like, it's not... You know, it's not that hard to get the cards that you need in this game. Like, I just... I would rather have them. I want them in my collection. I want to use them. Because I'm not going to play with a Rainbow Rare card in real life. You know? I'm only going to do it in this game. And this is like... The, the place to do that, so... Um, but without further ado, we got 32 more to go here, and that Rose card is amazing. That's a awesome. Yeah, it's, just a, it's a phenomenal card. Phenomenal card. Go Lurk, baby, let's go. And Lurk, while we watch me open more packs of cards. <laughs> But really, we're, we're wanting to turn to this V and V Max as many as we can possibly get, please. Powdun is not Eternatus. <laughs> you might think that it's Eternatus, but it is actually, surprisingly, not Eternatus. Yeah. Rose is Rose attaches to energy, and then you discard your hand. Ooh. Grim snarl. V. Let's go. I will take any and every V that I can possibly get. That's actually somehow my third Grim Snarl V, even though I really haven't opened up much of any of this set whatsoever. So, yeah, that's awesome. Man, I will I will take that every single day. He's got 220 HP. He does bite for 40 for one energy, which 40 is about what you would expect for an attack like that. It'd be nice to have a, a bonus effect. And spiky knuckle, um, but you have to put two energy into your hand, and that's a bummer. You don't have to do that with uh, with Zassian. I'd rather have I don't get to attack again next turn. But even then, two hundred is just not not the numbers that you want here. The numbers that we want are numbers of <laughs> Eternatus. That's a Rowley's. I love Rowlet. He's so cute. Ooh, and turbo patches. And life hearts. That's just not. 
no, no, uh uh. Mm -mm. Jog on here. Yeah. Oh. Nursing that food, baby. Mm -hmm. We've all been there. It was really good food. Oh man, pasta primavera. Mm -hmm. With red bell pepper and uh, zucchini. Mm -hmm. Chopped up zucchini. Oh, roasted zucchini. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just so good. Yeah, you know, we had farfalle noodles. And it was using a cream cheese <clears throat> um, based sauce. Super yummy. And a peas. And peas in there too. Actually, the peas did a lot of work for that dish. I'm not going to lie. I was surprised. I didn't want to stop eating it. But yeah. just, oh, I'm so full. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. I, I, I finished cheers. <laughs> and there was a lot on that plate. They, HelloFresh doesn't. It doesn't normally give you, like, when it, just specifically with pasta, the portions aren't necessarily super outstanding, but, oh, Ooh, Suicune. There is a Suicune. Yeah, but not the new Suicune being in Evolving Skies. As they tempt me on the screen. Um, yeah, but this time around, and their portions are usually pretty solid on other meals, it's just, it's just the pasta... They're usually really yummy and like half the size that you want them to be. This is double the size of those ones and whew, yeah, I am stuffed. I am stuffed. Heatran, this could be something. Wow. Boy, we are just, we're just, we're in a, just a, a desert of poles here. It's the literal desert. Like the Sahara. Man, you've been poaching all my luck in the online game, Joanna. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it happens. This is, we're 15 packs in on this one. Oh. Yeah. This is, yeah. That was 15. I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. We gotta go to, to 71. Oh man, come on. That just means that the, the, the good, I keep saying that every video, I'm just like, well, we didn't quite get the pulls we wanted, but that just means that they're waiting for us in the next video. Like, you know, at some point, hey. yo, hey. let's go, Eternatus V. Oh, wow. baby! Good job! Yes! Oh, man, now I just need more, some V Max. The Turnus V, you know, obviously it's got Power Accelerator, does 30, and you attach a Dark Energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, which is excellent. Very good. Dyn Dynamax can Cannon, so 4 Energy, 120, and if it's if you're opposing Pokemon's a V Max, it does 120 more. You're never. Four energy attacks just do not get used. The exception was Palkia GX, like, as a tech. Uh, and, and, and that was, like, it in Sun and Moon for four energy attackers. And um, uh, the tag teams. But that's a whole other story. Those always, like, would accelerate a bunch, like Pikaram. The point is, that isn't that bad of an attack, considering how many... Uh, v maxes are running around, but you're never going to use it because you're going to be using Eternatus V Max. And I can't wait to pull that one because I just got Eternatus V. Congrats, baby. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. Man, can we get another one? Can we get the V Max? <sighs> Spike Myth is some fun. No! Art Rose. Let's go! Oh man, <laughs> this one is so good in Rayquaza decks. Oh man, and I love the full art better than the Rainbow Rare. Like, just phenomenal. Look at that gorgeous piece of artwork. Look at that, all that ravishing red. Rose just looking sharp, man. You wouldn't even guess that he's just bonkers out of his mind. Spoiler alert for the end of the game. <laughs> if you haven't played it yet, but... Man, just what a 
What a good looking guy on a good looking card. What's up, bros? Although the other full art of him, he's got like this big portly belly. Oh baby, that is awesome. Back to back. Two of the best pulls you can get. <sighs> I thought there was going to be something there. <laughs> I was not prepared for it. Only gotten, I think, four hits, though, thus far, but... They've been quality, man. Only one is pretty much, you know, a very unlikely to ever be played by me. And it's Grim Snarl. Spoiler alert. we got 15 more to go here. And, uh, I know... I know there's more goods out there. I know it. Even though this is a digital game and there's, like, no way to be sure of any of that. And, like... If you've watched me open Chilling Rain, like, I can go pack after pack and just get duds, but... But that's not what's gonna happen here. At all. I promise. Maybe. Like, I could be wrong. q fan. Yo! Full Art Caesar V! Very cool! He's got 210 HP. 30 damage for hack off, and you discard a tool and a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, and then slashing claw for 140. I wish the VMAX was better, because that's not a bad V. If you, It's not a bad V if you have a good VMAX to evolve it into. Hack off, you know, getting rid of tools and special energy right before you evolve into your, your VMAX, like, not terrible, honestly. Not terrible at all, as far as that goes. Sadly, Caesar V Max, for as pretty as the artwork is, is just one more bad Caesar. I don't, I don't actually remember when the last time we had a, a really good Caesar was. Yo, Santa Scorch is the other banger pull that you can get in this set. Oh my God, Santa Scorch V Max. What's that? I forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. It. Santa Scorch is gonna be like the fire deck. If fire is going to survive at all post-rotation without welder and everything, it's going to be in this form right here. He's got 320 HP, and he's got G-Max Centiferno, which does 40 damage plus 40 more for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach a fire energy from your discard to that Pokemon. Just accelerates more energy. With welder, it's awesome. Without welder... It's gonna be a little bit dicier, but man, in Expanded, you could just run Riot with this thing. There are so many options. That is awesome. Very, very awesome. Love that pull. Let's go. And it's a Rainbow Rare. Granted, Rainbow Rares are my least favorites. Uh, personally, like, Full Arts are usually really awesome, and like, Alt Arts often are really great. Yo! I needed this card! Vikavolt V is a great card, especially for the first attack. So it's got 210 HP. It's got Paralyzing Bolt, which for 2 energy, 1 lightning, 1 colorless, does 50 damage. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. It just shuts their, them down. This is a great tech into your, your uh, Rayquaza deck, because you're trying to, build, to buy time for your Flaffies. And item lock is just huge. Like, until you face off for the first time against an item lock deck, you do not know how big of a deal it is to be able to play items in this game. It's it's almost bigger than supporters. You know, that's just how crazy important they are. And then we got Super Zap Canyon. It's got, for 3 energy, does 190 and discards 2 energy from the Pokemon. You're mostly running this just for Paralyzing Bolt, is what you're running it for, to, to get some stall before you... You hit with the real hitter that you want to use. But it's a good card. It's a very good card. <sighs> Boy, this this video has just popped off. <sighs> My goodness. Hey. I didn't realize that it had a Hydreigon that accelerates dark energy. There's so much Dark Energy Acceleration right now in the format, and I love it. I'm here for it. Right, Joanna? I think Joanna nodded off, you guys. Aww. A little sleepy nugget. 
You got some Fletchenders. And just a Tapu Coco. Just a Tapu Coco. No big deal. No, it happens. Sometimes. We are down to the last nine here. Right here, let's go. Actually, this is pack 80, so this is number 10. Now there are nine left. I think. Oh no, I'm only opening through 72, so there are eight. I lied. We gotta get some bangers here. Although this has been a, a stunner opening. Just totally, totally makes up for the less than, than amazing one that we had for my last one. Um, I told you guys it was coming. I told you guys the hits were coming. It is stop your doubting and believe. Heat energy. Yeah, adding extra HP is always nice. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on. Just a thievel. A schemer. We got five more packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Five more packs. Yo! And now I got a play set of that Grim Snarl V that I'm not gonna be playing. This is like the Trevenant of this set. Or the Sandaconda, you know? Every set has that one V that you just like, oh, I got that V. <laughs> but a hit is a hit. Alright, and this opening has had plenty of hits. We've uh we've been pulling above our, our weight here for sure. But I still think we could maybe get one more. We can maybe get one more. Sometimes I do this with my hand. And then I think, oh god, Donald Trump did that too. He's like, believe me, okay, believe me. Oh man. Very sorry. Very sorry. I'm gonna try to break the habit, okay? This this is okay. And this is okay. But you can't, can't do this. You can't do that. Alright, here we go. The last pack. Can we somehow get one more hit? I believe. I believe we can do it. And... Come on, Arceus! Ah, uh, it's Agron. Of course it's Agron. It's always Agron. Well, hey, you know what? This was an awesome opening. We got some excellent, excellent pulls. I'm really happy about it. Um, let's just let's do a little cool down here. We're just going to open up a couple uncommon chests, just for fun. See if like maybe we could just like get some... Wow, Arcanine Reverse. That's the one, yeah, you paired up with Burning Scarf. Yeah, that's uh, Rebel Clash. Durant. Yeah, yep. Durant is always a mill deck. It will never be able to do anything else but mill. And last but not least... Alucha. Alright. Well, still. No, this was, that was super fun. I just wanted to do a little a little cooldown ending for like those awesome hits that we just got. And, y'all, we are not done with this 35 packs a day schedule. More is coming, so stick around and join us for another edition of... No, no, she's, she's conked out. Another edition of Live from Lavender Town. Bye-bye!